Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a walkthrough of the Isis Oracle Pocket Edition. Um, the Isis Oracle is, was created by Alana Fairchild um, and it's through, I want to say it's through Blue Moon Publishing, Blue Angel, I'm sorry, <laughs> Blue Angel Publishing. And there's a larger size or regular size Oracle deck and I decided that I wanted to get this Pocket Edition um, to which they came out with uh, oh, some time ago. Um, so it's, a, it's smaller. There's no guidebook with the Pocket Edition. Um, so the first card you get is an introduction card. And on the back, it uh, gives you two suggested ways in which you can use this Oracle deck. So and if you can see, it fits in the palm of my hand, for, or in my hand for the most part. And I don't have large hands. But if we can just uh, see what the spread kind of looks like or suggest. So you can do a one card draw um, or what they call the wing, the wing of Isis spread. So those are your two suggested uh, spreads. And this card suggests um, other decks that you can get in that's uh, offered by Blue Angel. Um, and then uh, let me just turn this way so what we get let me just move the box out of the way so what we get instead of uh, the main word at the bottom which is how it's done for the um, original the deck originally or the original size Let me just get that there so you can see better um, what we have then is just the picture so we can just focus on the picture itself without um, the keywords initially um, and then on the back of the card we have the keyword or key key statement with um, a description okay so I'm just gonna flip through um, the cards real quick and see what we have um, let's see All right, I just wanted to zoom in a little bit more so we can see better um, so I'm just gonna flip through real quick so that um, you know we don't <laughs> take forever um, wow there's that glare I can move the lighting a little yeah. okay and so we just have the pictures which we can focus on which I kind of like that idea actually I kind of like um, that I'm just getting um, the picture itself that I can focus on before I you know already have like in my head what the reference is um, to the pictures so um, and the artwork is just gorgeous um, and the card the card stock is is still very good um, it's not it's not flimsy in any way Can I, I mean We can just kind of. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am trying to get light without glare, and it's just not quite, you know. But okay. Anyways, <laughs> we make do with what we can. Um, you know, I don't have professional lighting or anything like that, so I just work it out how I can work it out. <laughs> so, and then you can see maybe if I put them on this side it kind of yeah there you go so you can kind of see what it's saying on the other side there um, but yes I love the artwork and this one you have um, Isis and you have um, Osiris here in this card and if I'm not mistaken yep and then down here you have Horus as uh, in his heart his hawk uh, form 
Um, you know, Egyptian deities take forms of animals. Um, many of them, there's a corresponding animal that goes with them. Sometimes it's more than one kind of animal associated with them. Um, like in the case of Thoth, he ha is more associated with an ibis, if I'm pronouncing that right. But also, he is associated with uh, a baboon. And I, you know, I find that very interesting. <laughs> Here's another um, Osiris with Isis looking on behind him. Uh, I I, lo I love how they um, interpret uh, Hor. No, I'm sorry, not Horus, but um, Osiris in these uh, cards. And here you have Isis. Well, you have uh, Horus with Isis behind him, his mother. Um, and like I said, these this this is a thick cardstock. I don't well, you know, I don't know if I did say that, but it's a thick, pretty thick cardstock. Um, it's not too flimsy, and it's it's definitely uh, laminated. Um, I've never edged my decks before, but I'm kind of contemplating doing that for some of my decks. Um, I also like how they, and I am not an insect person, but I like how they include some of the uh, symbols associated with uh, Isis or like here. This would be the, um, I don't want to mispronounce it, but the Icenian knot, uh, which is associated with Isis. Um, and so she has and and the way you see Isis in here uh, it's not the same image of Isis throughout the deck is different images same thing with Osiris you know as you can see in previous the previous cards he didn't quite look like that here's another symbol of Isis the Ankh um, in some uh, uh, wall drawings or um, depictions of Isis you'll see her holding the Ankh in her hand um, and the wings is a symbol of Isis as well. Um, I know I picked up two. That's the one thing with this. Sometimes I get more than one card. Um, so I think I just need to play with this deck more. That's <laughs> what it really boils down to. So. And but you, in this deck you get um, energies uh, from Isis. Um in her different areas like here like as a mother or as a protectress um, you get images of her almost like as a warrior um, um, as a wife um, and her as a as a powerful being in her own right um, you know she was able to get uh, Ra's magical name from him, which gained her even uh, greater power, allowed her to wield even more power. So she's a very powerful goddess, but she's a very loving goddess, a very nurturing goddess. Um, she is said to have put the pharaohs on the throne. So, and you get all of those um, energies from her from this deck, in my opinion. <laughs> Um, here, uh, you get more of a, you know, mystical um, feel from her. Um, yeah, I really, I just love this deck. And I am uh, a follower of Isis. Yes, she is my, um, I guess you could say she's my matron goddess. Um, but I feel like this deck is wonderful for anyone to have. Um, definitely if you're a mother you do get those mothering some of those mothering energies but you get her in her, in her fierceness here's uh, Sekhmet behind her um, you get her in, in all her fierceness in all of her components here's um, uh, lapis lazuli with um, uh, symbols carved into it I don't know if you can see um, but you get <laughs> I, I, you just get an array. Here's um, uh, is that Anubis? Yeah, I think that's Anubis, or it's Set. 
and I don't know 100% well it says brother is the brother is darkness so I'm going to assume then that's set if that's the case uh, sorry and I just I just love this deck absolutely I love this deck I you know I would love if they came out with more I know there's several Egyptian based decks but I would love if they came out with even more or much like the Isis deck um, if they focus on a particular Egyptian deity I would absolutely love that um, I think a great deck would be um, Hathor would make a great deck I think Sekhmet would make a great deck I think um, I think Ma'at would make a great deck Ma'at would make a great deck um, also dealing with the laws of Ma'at as well but so yes so this is and here's the Sistrum which is an instrument uh, uh, Isis devotees have played in the past and I, I know there's uh, instructions on how to make a Sistrum online um, on, on a few sources a few sites so um, but yes, so this is the Isis Oracle. This is the pocket edition, and I really love this idea. I love the the pocket edition. Um, I I like that you know, like I said, I get a card that's free of any words or clues or tips or anything like that. There's no borders. I can't remember if the original one has borders or not, and it might not. But I do like. Uh, borders don't always bother me, but in some way, um, in some decks, I do like that they're borderless. So that is that's it. <laughs> um, like I said, here I'll show you the cover once again. This is the Isis Oracle by Alana Fairchild. This is the pocket edition. So thank you for watching and blessed be.